Now then, let's talk about main topic number four. And the fourth main topic isn't necessarily a story. It's just something I've noticed. Now, we're going to get a little personal, and I made a joke about a Uber tuber who was like in a, who uh, reported from his hub earlier in the video. And you all know who I'm talking about. This person basically has no credit in the rideshare community because he's deactivated from Lyft every single week. He has like the same topics that he uploads every single week. Sometimes it's with a different person, but it's always the same thing. And, he, you know, he's basically what he's doing is he's click baiting the algorithm. He's click baiting the algorithm because if he gets this popular topic, he doesn't want to just be the number one video that comes up when you search that topic. He wants to be the third, fourth, and fifth as well. He wants to cover that page. That's what he's trying to do. It's considered spam, and it can be reported if you so feel inclined to do so. I don't personally. I've got better things to do with my time. And since I'm kind of not doing rideshare a whole lot these days anyway, whatever. But it's oh, But you know what? He's not the only one who does it. There are actually corporations and other major trade companies that do this as well. And I've been noticing some of this very big clickbait style headlining coming from a site that I don't read frequently, admittingly, but I do read it enough, and it's called GameSpot. Now, I cannot think of too many reasons why GameSpot would end up coming up in my channel. I... You know, they are a new site, and I, I think I talk about games probably the least in this. I do talk about them, but not much. But you know what? I started noticing this on my phone when I would check my daily headlines, and a certain headline would keep popping up about movie theaters. Now, as you all know, I love movie theaters. I don't think they're going to reopen in July. I don't think so. At least they're not going to open everywhere, and I think Tenet and Mulan will get pushed back. However... Um, whenever I do keep an eye out because like, I'm just kind of waiting for that hammer to fall. Like when are they actually going to delay reopening the movie theaters again? And actually I get that headline every day. I click on it and I find out that it's not the case. It's a story about how, you know, the movies have been delayed reopening until July 31st. And every single time it's from GameStop. So I searched AMC theaters on Bing. So I can kind of show you what's going on. This is the most recent one. This was uploaded four hours ago. AMC theaters won't reopen as planned following big movie delays. And what happens? Well, you click on it. And when you click on it, um, it says they are pushing its opening date to July 30th. But here's the thing. This isn't new news. It's not. And yet, this is a current headline by Matt Elfring. All right, so let's scroll down a little bit more and uh, let's... Uh, oh, here's another Game, game Spot article. AMC postpones theater reopening until the end of July following big movie delays. When you click on it, look, Matt Elfring. And now you see it's still this thing, but look, this went up five days ago. And then you go back, look, here's a couple more. Eight days ago, AMC theaters reopening delayed to end of July. And then a few, like five days before that, AMC theaters delays reopening day again after Mulan and Tenet delays. Like, and the thing was, I think this was announced like a month ago. So GameSpot, look, seven days ago, AMC delays movie theater reopening. Is there any, is there any more I... Be, be surprised if there if there wasn't. Um, in fact, here let's just uh, let's just do GameSpot. There's so there's six. So at least from this search, GameSpot has at least uploaded six articles in the last two weeks about AMC theaters delaying the reopening, and it's you only needed one. You only needed one story to actually do this, but they keep doing it every single day. And I think they're doing it because they know people are nervous about the movie theaters. They want to know, are they going to actually be open at the end of July or are they going to be delayed again? And so GameSpot is tricking the algorithm. They're taking advantage of people to write articles like this. And they're probably writing the exact same article. Like, let's see here. If I go to the 13 day, was it the same current article? Yeah, now it's July 15th. So 
it actually so GameSpot is actually deliberately posting the exact same article and they're just updating the publishing date. But you know, the search engine doesn't lie. It shows that, hey, no, you've been, you know, in fact, you can even see, like, the text itself. It is exactly the same. They're just changing the headlines. Like, this is, this is stupid. I mean, it, it may, who knows? Maybe it's because GameSpot doesn't have, like, a whole lot to discuss with the gaming industry. You know, not a lot of games coming out. All that jazz. All these industries are suffering. But, oh, I can't stand that. I, I just absolutely cannot stand, stand that. That is, like, just one of the shadiest ways you can, like make get clicks and it's a uh, like and at that point like i actually started like ignoring them because like now when i see the amc theaters won't reopen my first reaction is okay who's publishing it is it GameSpot? oh well i guess i'm not going to click on that because it's going to be the exact same article that they've been that they uploaded like a few weeks ago so anyway i just that was just like a little mini rant for me like maybe not necessarily a story but a mini rant, and um, I just, I just had to, I, I had to complain about that. But anyway, I would like to know what you think about. It. Do you care about this? Maybe it only bothers me. I don't know. Um, but whether you do or not, I'd love to know. Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, flame responsibly.